Hi everybody, joining us now is Dash goalkeeper Jan Campbell. Jan, congratulations on another shutout. Career high for you, um, club high as well. Just your overall thoughts on tonight's game. Um, it was not the prettiest, but you know, that's sometimes the game of football and we are pumped to have three points away here. They're, uh, Gotham is an incredible group. They're super electric up top and have tons and tons of talent. So we knew coming here would be quite a challenge, but you know, one game at a time for us in the dash and that's kind of our mentality right now. So um, definitely a huge defensive effort from the entire group, everyone at home as well. So um, yeah, pumped to get three points. Perfect. We'll go here to the room with John Lupa. Jane, first of all, congratulations on that performance. Honestly, that was one of the best goalkeeping performances I've seen all season. It just You mentioned the defense and just wave after wave with all the chances they had to keep their focus and concentration, especially it's coming from all different areas. And just talk about the overall defensive performance and how you guys were able to get to, I know you've given up, I believe, the fewest goals in NWSL, but to rise to that level in a match that you really needed to win. Just talk about your overall performance and the defense's performance in front of you. Yeah, I think like you said, it was, uh, you know, I think probably 100, 110 minutes maybe the whole game, but of focus, like you said, and, um, you know, it's really hard those games when it is just wave after wave after pressure after pressure and, you know, calls left, right, and center and corner kicks and shots on target that barely miss or get deflected or you name it. And um, I think after we scored the first goal that, uh, you know, that kind of gave us a little bit of a buffer going into half, obviously, but we knew, I mean, we knew the second half was going to be, you know, kind of uh, terrible. We knew they were going to come flying and um, they did the whole game. And I think we really, really dug in and for Meech to put in that second chance. I mean, what a chance that was to just find a way to get something. And um, I think the defense from top to bottom, from the forwards all the way to me and, you know, even the scout team on in training and back home I mean they give us such a good picture of you know what we'll hopefully face and I think if we can defensively just dig in every game it just relieves so much pressure for the people who are really attacking minded and so I think every game especially the back you know the back three back five back four we really try to just relieve as much pressure as we can to kind of let everyone in front of us play freely. So if we just do the dirty work and, um, you know, keep a zero or keep a low, low number on our score sheet, then hopefully it gives them a bit of confidence to go out there and put a few away. So I'm super proud of the group and it was a gritty, tough, ugly performance, but we'll take the three points. And also at the other end, Michelle with the two goals, just with Diana not being here, just for her to be able to step up like that, especially where she's so versatile, she can play all different positions. Just talk about having a player like that on your team that's able to sort of fill the holes or plug the gaps when you need it, and then for her to score those two goals for first grace in NWSL. Yeah, I think her coming back from the World Cup, she was, you know, on a really uh, high mountain, which is great, you know, I mean, she had a great World Cup, and coming back, I think the first game she was a wing back, so um, I think, or maybe an outside back, so I think for her, you know, that was kind of different. I think she envisioned coming back here being up top, but we have so much so much talent up top and uh, you know it's kind of hard it's like a Tetris game kind of figuring out where everyone's going to fit and then you switch formations and then maybe she could be a wing back maybe she could be a nine so um, I thought she did great and uh, you know she's riding on a ton of confidence which is awesome for us and we kind of need to follow her lead and hopefully she'll uh, keep that going. Great. Thank you. Perfect thank you Theo we'll go to you next. Hi Jane congratulations on the win and another you know another clean sheet it's, it's incredible um, what you're putting together this season. On that note, just chatting to Sarah, I asked her, you know, who's the best goalkeeper in the NWSL? She said you. Um, would being named, you know, best goalkeeper of the year mean anything to you? Do individual awards mean anything to you? Um, I think that's very flattering from Coach Sarah. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the, you know, the shutout record we got for the dash this year is a huge testament to the whole group. I mean, you know, you can say it's the back four, the back three, back five, but it's the whole team. I mean, the work we put in every day in training defensively um, through the whole group. I mean, the girls who aren't here, the whole goalkeeper unit, um, Matt, the goalkeeper coach, I mean, you know, they really deserve the credit. It's not just me. Um, so, you know, it would be great, but those awards to me are reflections of the group. And the best thing that can happen for me is that 
the team gets recognized for how good and how talented we are and the picture we put out there and it's a gritty performance like this game isn't the prettiest by any means but we came here at Gotham and got three points and got a shutout and I hope people give us some sort of credit for that I mean um, so if that means me getting that award gives the defense some credit great um, but I just want the group to get recognized however that may be you know so um, Right now, the focus is a playoff push and getting in top six, and then, you know, we go from there. So right now, we're still below the line, and I think that is the biggest focus right now. And, um, you know, we found out tonight we got the shutout record for Houston, which is incredible, but, you know, we still have two games left, and uh, we definitely need to keep zeros on the scoreboard for that. So. On, on kind of tonight, that feeling at full-time whistle in the locker room, to play, you know, your teammates and say that you just left the other coaches. Can you give us kind of some feelings, some anecdotes of what the mood is like there right now and what people are saying to each other, you know, how that belief is, is, is fostering in the group? Yeah, I think, you know, to be quite frank, I mean, we, you know, this group has had an interesting few weeks, um, you know, you know, changes and what have you, injuries and formation changes and this and that. And, you know, the, the mood of the group is really, it's just, on to the next and tomorrow's Monday we fly home and we've got another big game against Angel City at home so um, the mood is really on to the next I mean you know we're all happy and we're all really excited for this win but you know the mood last week when we got the win in Louisville was you know sure we can celebrate but again it's on to the next so um, it's just one day one game one practice at a time for us and um, I think that's the safest way to do it for us we're not too high we're not too low and um, we still have to clean a lot of things up, uh, especially after this game, and that's totally fine. It's better to have things to clean up than not. So, um, you know, on to the next. Tomorrow's Monday, and hopefully safe travels home. Thanks so much for your time, Jen, and uh, congratulations again. Thank you. Dustin, go ahead. Sorry. Hey, Jane. Hello. Uh, just a quick one from me. Um, you guys two points back at the playoffs now, depending on what happens in the other game tonight. You guys were here last year, you know, making this playoff push as one of the veterans on the team. How important is that um, as you guys continue in these, these final two games? Yeah, I think, you know, so much can happen, um, right, even with two games remaining for us. And, you know, players will or teams will finish out their game this weekend. But um, so much can happen in the next two weeks. It's kind of incredible. And so the biggest thing we have to do is just take care of our performance. We have to get as many points as we can. So obviously there's six on the table for us. And, you know, if we can grab them, great. And uh, we need some other things to fall into place, I think. Um, I don't even know what our road is. I don't think we really want to know because I'm sure it involves like 20 different factors. But the best we can do is win the next game. And so if we just take care of our business and kind of keep everything else outside and, you know, worry about it after our games, then that's probably best for us. Um, it's all a bunch of distractions, which is great. You know, it's, a, it's super cool that the league is so exciting right now. I mean, everyone's, you know, checking Twitter and the standings left, right and center, which is great. But um, for us, it's really just one game at a time and we've got six points to go get and, you know, who knows what's going to happen. But um, our focus is to get three at home for our final home game and, um, we'll go from there. Thanks. Safe travels. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We'll have media resources out later tonight. Thank you.